Come on in. So, what can I do for you boys? We're helping with the city's sports program. Sports? Capital idea. You mean you'll support our program? Of course I'll support you. Great. It'll hardly cost you anything. <coughs> cost? What do you mean by cost? Oh, all our supporters are donating something. You only have to buy a trophy for the soccer tournament. See? A dollar forty-nine! When I said support, I thought you meant moral support. Uh, sharing, pom-poms, uh, that sort of thing. A dollar forty-nine! That's a lot of money! Wait a minute! I had a trophy once! Ooh, my first nickel. Ah. I found it! <laughs> ah, here you are. A bit dusty, perhaps, but quite suitable for a soccer tournament. I don't quite remember where I got it, but uh, no matter. But Uncle Scrooge, this trophy is... Yes. No need to thank me. It was the least I could do. What a miser. Dig in up this piece of junk just to save a dollar forty-nine. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. Excuse me, but I must have a closer look at that trophy. Exquisite. The workmanship is marvelous and in such good condition. <laughs> Boys, I am the curator of the Duckburg Museum of Antiquities. This athletic urn of yours dates back to certain pre-Sumerian cultures of the Hebe-Jibe Valley. Do you have any idea how much this is worth? Your paper, sir. Thank you, Jeeves. Hmm. Soccer trophy worth millions. Millions? <laughs> Will that be all, sir? Scrooge parting with a million dollars? Giving away all that money isn't that nice. Hmm. Seems this trophy is worth quite a considerable sum. Certainly hope they've taken the necessary precautions to. Good heavens, the Beagle Boys! <laughs> Look, me brother, a discarded issue of the morning tabloid. Let us see what is new in Duck Boy. Yep, right on schedule. Come in, Uncle Scrooge. Now, come, come, boys. Can your name be reasonable? Look, I brought you this brand new trophy. Thank you. We'll be glad to take it. You will? Sure. It can be the prize for second place. You boys are taking advantage of me. And you're trying to take advantage of us. The only way you're going to get that trophy is to win it. And just how can I do that? By sponsoring the winning team. And I assume you got suggestions on which team might be in need of a sponsor? See you boys intend to take me for every cent I've got. All we need is a new ball. What's wrong with this one? It seems perfectly fine to me. Where's the help around this place anyway? We work here in a second. We just gotta put away a few things. Whoa! Whoa! Hm, such incompetence. <laughs> Bet you thought I dropped them, didn't you? <laughs> Glad to be of service. <gasps> now, is there anything else I can do for you? Aye, my boy. As a matter of fact, there is. Way well, you meet the team. You won't believe they were the last ones picked. <laughs> Hiya, fellas. The name's Sport Goofy, and I'm gonna be your new coach. <laughs> yeah. How many of you have played soccer before? It's quite simple. <laughs> the object of the game is to get the ball into the other team's goal and keep it out of your goal. Is that clear? Do y'all know what this is? 
Swell. <laughs> yeah. Now let's see what you can do. Who wants to go first? Way to go! Let's see how you play as a team. <laughs> nice teamwork! Both in plenty of air along with the lemon extract being a Especially careful not to bruise the eggs. This will ensure... Hey! We was watching that! You lazy mugs. You sit around all day watching TV while the twins here have been out rustling up a job. Yeah, like what? Like our dear friend Scrooge McDuck is giving away a trophy worth over a million dollars. A million dollars? Uh, hey, wait a minute. You know... We could wait until after the tournament and maybe see who wins. And then maybe, just maybe, then we could steal the trophy away from whoever wins the trophy and then we'd have the trophy. That, me little brother, is a very clever idea. But I have a better one. We will call up a few of our cousins and formulate our own soccer team. Then we merely win the trophy and walk away with it nice and legal. But we don't know nothing about soccer, do we? But we don't have to. You see, brother, we are going to use our very secret and confidential weapon. We cheat. <laughs> That sports goofy's getting too good for his own good. Dad, then maybe we should arrange us a little get-together with him. Yeah, a real surprise party. <laughs> <laughs> To what? What's the matter, Scrooge? The championship. We're playing the Beagle Boys. Oh, don't worry about that. We'll just play them fair and square and made the best team win. Oh, but you don't know the Beagle Boys like I do. They don't play fair. Don't play fair? What does that mean? It means they'll do anything to win. Falsify documents, bear false witness, perjure, bribe officials, connive with minors. Huh? They cheat. Cheat? No. That's against the rules. Hmm, that's a good idea. I better get ready for bed. Now, men, I want you all to get a good night's sleep so we'll be ready for the big game tomorrow. Gosh, almost curfew. <laughs> Wait a minute. I forgot to turn out the lights. Oh, oh allow us. Good afternoon, soccer fans, and a big hello to Duckburg as we welcome you to the championship game between the heavily favored Beagle Boys and the underdog McDuck Greenback. Both clubs are striving for that holy grail, the coveted $1 million trophy. The stage is set, the teams are in their locker rooms, and you can almost feel their enthusiasm. All right, you can call me a sentimental old fool, but I suppose if you're gonna carry the McDuck name, then you ought to look like a real team. Well, speak up, lads. What do you think? Boys, what's wrong? Where's Goofy? 
We found this on the locker room door. Dear Green Bats, Sport Goofy cannot make it to the game today as he is all tied up. P.S. Scrooge, don't forget to polish up the trophy. <laughs> I just knew something like this would happen. Just those thieving beagle boys. They've got Goofy. You gotta pull yourself together, men. Think of what this means to the good citizens of Duckburg. Um, to the bucket book. Gentlemen, our honor is at stake. The time for victory is no. So get out there and fight and win back my trophy! You don't care anything about sport, Goofy. And after all he's done for this team. Folks, you wouldn't believe the crowd trying to get here this morning. And all this attention for a game, everyone thought the Beagle Boys could just simply mail in. And here's everyone's favorite team coming out, the Greenbacks. But hold everything. Sports Goofy didn't come out onto the field with the team. Well, it certainly looks like they got a great team, dear. Especially what with their new captain. <laughs> you know, boys, it don't matter who's on the team, just as long as they play their best. Boy, is this guy naive. Say, buddy, while we're waiting for your team to lose, is there anything we can do to accommodate you? Why, thanks. Do you think I can have a drink of water? Sure. Thanks. Don't mention it. Is there anything else I can get you? Nope, that'll do me for now. Field. I see we're ready for the opening kickoff. The referee, Four Eyes Come Fowler, on, is at the midfield kickoff it. spot. Max the Kid Maxwell, flick kicks the ball into the attacking zone, but Greenback forward intercepts and breaks down field. Wow, an oil slick in the field. Looks like the ground. Open your eyes, ref. Can you see what they're doing? And the Greenbacks are having a hard time getting any footing. The Beagles catch to the very square, dropping off the push pass to the striker, who races toward the goal on the blind side run. Shotgun cushions in, peels the ball, jab kicks. Goal! Score in! One for the Beagles. Good call. Um, thank you. Um, where are my glasses? The Greenies try the sweet trap. Can they hold on to it? No way, baby. A beautiful bicycle kick, and the Beagle Boys set up a block. No a brick, no a stack of bricks. In and out, hard break. Airmail special delivery. Go! Two zip. Go! There was a whistle on that one. It looks like a little chicanery going on out there. A greenback tries for a header, but his hopes are shattered on that one. Whoa! No way that can be legal. The ref. Oh, He's looking for his glasses downfield. He swept right down Main Street. Go! Boom, baby. Hey! That's cheating. No kidding. Like right now. Meanwhile, the nephew has lost a perfect set piece and are driving downfield on the one two combination pass from the winger. He shepherds the ball past the midfield mark, and wow! Is he knocked for a loop by the Bengals, but Ruder. The ref is just an obvious target call that last one. The door is closed, the lights are out, the eggs are cooling, the butter gets hard. The boys still going over the green back offense. Oh my gosh, we're ruined. I'm ruined. This is it. The end. We're finished. Kaput. Where are you, sport goofy? <laughs> He's right here. Hey, there he goes. Step on it. And the mustard off the hot dog for the Greenbacks for the last time this half. Beagle Boys 10, Greenies nothing. Now the halftime entertainment. For your listening pleasure, please welcome the Pygmalion High School Marching Band and Drill Team. All right, all right. Oh, what a game. Hey. That team's a bunch of cream puffs. What was sport goofy out of the way? Oh. Go, team, go! Yay! Goofy! Thank 
heavens, you've come back to us. We must plan our strategy of attack. We must play like never before. Hooray! Now, let's all go out and show them what we can really do. Well, brothers, it appears that we got this game all wrapped up. So leave us go out and break a leg. Preferably one of theirs. Gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in goofies back on the I field. Our brothers took care of that guy. <laughs> All right, no problem. We'll just pulverize it. Are uh, the ball. both teams ready? Anytime, ref. Quick play, kick off. Ah! A setup by Shaw, who aims for the goal. A great block by Goofy into the popcorn machine. Shot, boom, bam, no. score. Sleeping Beauty is finally awake. Goofy takes a true pass. He kicks. He no. scores it again. Yay! Wheels looks left. Steals right. Passes off the shotgun. He's beautifully marked by the greenback. The greenies hit an outside pass. It's headed in. Score! Chip kick through to a mark on the near post. Go. Another goal to the right. And Goofy swipes a nutmegger into the attacking zone where he's closed down by a wall of opposition. He goes to the left. He goes to the right. To the left. To the right. To the left. To the right. To the left. He goes to the right. To the left. To the right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. A 20-foot knotter and it's good, ladies and gentlemen. And the greenbacks have tied the score at 10. Okay, boys. Now let's really moiter them. And now Goofy runs the ball into Beagle territory. It's Goofy and the Weasel. But the Beagles are right on his tail. But the Beagles cut him off. And boy, is he tagged. I don't care if you're calling the game in Braille, you gotta call that one. Oh, it's Last Rites time. He was hit for a distance on that oh. one. Oh! Look! They're cheap! <laughs> so fasten your seatbelt, folks. There's only three seconds left in the game. Goofy's gonna be awarded a puppy. Are you all right? Come on, snap out of it. Where's the ball? <laughs> this so shovel. Remember. When Goofy kicks the ball, push the red button. Here you go, buddy. Oh, thank you. Come on, Goofy. You can do it. This is our last chance. The green back, the whole season boiling down this one penalty kick. Goofy is collecting his thought. The goalie can't move until the ball is kicked. Goofy can't do any funny steps going to the ball. It's got to be a very honest kick. The crowd is hushed. He breaks the ball. He sends up a prayer for the green back. It is the left corner of the Madison goal. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. Goofy wins it for the green back. Look at this crowd, 73,000 soccer fans on their feet and thoroughly enjoying their case of, let's call it, Greenback Fever. Scrooge McDuck, the sponsor of the team, has certainly collected the bragging rights for this season, as well as that much sought after trinket, a $1 million trophy. Give me that, dummy. <clears throat> you pushed the wrong button. <laughs> So long, boys. See you in 10 to 20. What do you plan to do with the trophy, Mr. Scrooge? It's gonna be locked up in a place where it'll be safe and secure forever. The Duckburg Museum. This is tax deductible, isn't it? Why, of course. Uncle Scrooge, Uncle Scrooge! They're taking the team picture! <laughs> You'll see? If you play fair and work together as a team, anyone can be number one.